What's going on, friends? Brian with Ace Cards, back at you with another video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it's week three of the NFL, and I'm going to do my picks. But first, let's look at last week and see how I did. Hold on, I gotta pull it up real quick. All right, so. I uh, did not do too good. I went 4 and 11. It's 27%. But I won one prop bet. So the prop bet I won was the uh, Raiders versus the Ravens game. Uh, Derrick Henry went for 80 rushing yards. Lamar Jackson went for 40 rushing yards. And Mark Andrews had four receptions. And $10 paid $51.30. So uh, if you look at the other prop bets I made, missed them by one of the one of the legs. That Lad McConkey wasn't even close. And then uh, Brandon Cooks I think had 26 yards. He only had two receptions. Uh, Jalen Tolbert took a lot of his receptions. So that sucks. But here I'm just going to show you the games I won and lost. So you know I picked the Chargers right. Uh, my lock of the week was not a lock of the week. I was absolutely wrong. Uh, Anthony Richardson just played like crap. Uh, I got the Steelers and the Bears and the Falcons right. So I ended good. But, yeah. So let's see if we can do better this week and increase our winning percentage. So we're going to start with the Eagles versus the Saints. I'm picking the Saints by two and a half. Uh, I'm given two and a half points, and the over-under is 49 and a half. Uh, for this game, I think um, I think the Saints are going to be able to run the ball, but they're going to be able to pass the ball too. Um, so I think for the prop bets, I think Alva Kamara will get 40-plus yards receiving. I think Chris Olave will get 70 plus yards receiving. And I think Rashid Shahid will get 40 plus yards receiving. So if you if you uh, spend ten dollars, bet ten dollars, you could win seventy-two fifty from FanDuel for those three uh, bets. But this game is gonna be a fun game, I think. But because Devontae uh, well, not Devontae. A.J. Brown is out. I don't think the Eagles are going to be able to uh, to hang with the Saints. So let's move to the Chargers and the Steelers. Uh, Chargers. Let's see. Herbert is hurting. So I don't know how effective he'll be, but they're primarily a running team anyways. So I'm going to pick the Steelers. So the Steelers are favored by three. So I'm given three points. The over-under is 34 and a half. The prop bets I'm picking is George Pickens. I think he'll get 70 plus yards receiving. I don't think the Chargers will be able to stop him. I think Pratt, uh, Pat Fryermuth is going to get four plus receptions. And I think Pickens will get four plus receptions. So if you bet 10 bucks... On FanDuel, you'll make $77.86. Um, let's see. The next bet, the next game is the Broncos versus the Bucks. Broncos have one player right now, and that is Patrick Sertain. Um, I think he's going to shut down Mike Evans. But I think the Buccaneers are going to just dominate this game. So... Buccaneers are favored by six and a half, so I'm giving the six and a half points, taking the Bucks. The over under is 40 and a half. So for the prop bets, um, I think Chris Godwin in the slot is is it's good to do 70 plus yards receiving. I think Javante Williams for the Broncos will get four plus receptions because they're going to be behind. I think Javante Williams will also get 25 plus yards receiving. And then I think Rashad White is going to get 60 yards rushing for the Buccaneers. They're going to beat ahead, and they're going to rush a lot. 
So if you bet $10 on these props, it pays $170.45. All right, so all the rest of the games are all without props. So the next games are the Giants versus the Browns. The Browns are favored by six and a half points. The over under is thirty eight and a half. I uh, think the Giants are going to be outmanned in this game. I think uh, I think Deshaun Watson is going to play better, and um, <clears throat> it's just it's going to be a much tougher game for the Giants than it was last week for the Redskins, even though it's still lost. But I'm going to go ahead and give up the points, take the Browns for six and a half points. Um, the next game is the Bears versus the Colts. The Colts are favored by one and a half points, and the over-under is 46 and a half. I am going to take the Colts, and I'm going to give the one and a half points. Uh, let's see, for the Bears, Keenan Allen is out, and Rome was limited this week. He'll still play. And uh, the Colts have lost some interior linemen this week. Uh, DeForest Butner and Laatu, Latu. Um, so there's that. And Josh Downs practice, so he should play this week. I think uh, DeAndre Swift will do well against uh, the Colts rushing this week, but not good enough. Uh, so look for a healthy dose of Jonathan Taylor. And I see a sizable victory for the Colts. Next game is Texans versus the Vikings. Texans are favored by one and a half points. Over and under is 40 and a half. For the Texans, I'm picking the Texans, and I'm giving up the one and a half points. Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce are out, so it is just Cam Akers uh, for rushing. For the Vikings, Jordan, Jordan Addison is out, and their linebacker, uh, Ivan Pace, is out. And so is Dallas Turner, but I don't think he was uh, starting yet. Um... I see for this game, I basically see it's going to be C.J. Stroud. He's going to he's going to be passing the ball, and uh, it's going to be an awfully tight game. Um, I can see this being a you know field goal at the end of the game to win, but I'm going to take the Texans. My next game is the Packers versus the Titans. Titans are favored by three. Can you believe that? In fact, let me verify that because that just seems wrong. They are favored by three. All right. Uh, the over-under is 36 and a half. Um, so in this game, I think the Titans are going to be able to run the ball. They're going to run it down the throat of the Packers. I don't think the Packers are not going to be able to throw and Malik Willis just doesn't throw anyways. He, you know, he's going to run the ball mostly. So I just feel Tennessee is in a better place right now. Uh, the Packers will have Jordan Love next week, but this week it is, it is going to be the Titans and it is going to be the running game. It's It's going to be 100% um, totally po Tony Pollard. So, Play him if you have him in fantasy. Next game is the Panthers versus the Raiders. Raiders are favored by five and a half. Over and under is 39 and a half. Uh, yes, I'll take the Raiders, please. Um, even Andy Dalton is starting for Bryce Young. I don't think that's going to help much. Um, personally, I hope he fails just as bad because I don't want it to be <laughs> all, on, all on Bryce Young. But... I'm thinking they're going to have an uptick in their offense, but the Raiders have more than enough to, um, I think, to beat the Panthers. So look for a healthy dose of Devontae Adams and um, even Zamir White. So so I think the, the Raiders definitely have this. Next game is Dolphins versus the Seahawks. Seahawks are favored by 4.5. The over and under is 41.5. 
Yeah, I'll take the Seahawks uh, minus four and a half. I don't believe in Skylar Thompson, and Raheem Mostert is out again. So the Dolphins are going to rely on Devon Chen to to win this game for him. But even though Kenneth Walker's out, Zach Charbonnet's pretty good. I think he he will run the ball well. And I expect um, the Seattle Seahawks receivers, especially DK Metcalf, I expect them to have a big game this week. Um, so I will take the Seahawks and I will give the four and a half points. The next game, we got the Lions versus the Cardinals. Lions are favored by three, and the over and under is 51 and a half. Yeah, this is going to be a scoring fest. Uh, the only issue I have is um, Terry and Arnold is his cornerback for the Lions. is questionable, but I think he's going to play. Um, he had an illness, and uh, that could be a big deal. Uh, I think Jameer Gibbs is going to go off. And I think J-Mo, Jameson Williams, will also see a lot of targets. Um Again, this game could go either way. I would feel better if if this was um, two and a half, because I think three is probably what it's going to end up being. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Lions and give up the three. Next game is the Ravens. They're favored by one and a half over the Cowboys. The over and under is 47 and a half. Um, this is a tough game for me. I, you know, Ravens don't want to... F- start 0-3 and, and the Cowboys don't want to don't want to lose another game so I really think that I think the Ravens are going to have to pull this out they have to Derrick Henry is going to run wild on the Cowboys uh, so will um, Lamar Jackson I think uh, Zay Flowers is going to get a lot of checkdowns, so uh, he should have a good number of receptions. Um, and for the Cowboys, Jake Ferguson, um, Ravens give up a lot of points to the uh, receptions to the tight end. So Jake Ferguson is back, so I expect him to do well today. Um, but overall, I'm going to give up the one and a half, and I'm going to take the Ravens. I think they need it more. Uh, the next game is the Niners versus the Rams. Niners are favored by six and a half. The over and under is forty four and a half. Uh, this is the injury game. This is everybody's just injured. So the Rams are missing both their starting wide receivers. Niners are missing uh, Debo Samuel and Kittle, and of course CMC. But um, Jordan Mason is, is amazing, so you're not missing much there. So I think you're going to see a lot of uh, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Jordan Mason, and uh, maybe even uh, Juan, Je- Juan Jennings for the Niners. Uh, for the Rams, I mean, they are just... They, two of their offensive line starters are also on IR, so... I just I don't see them matching up. Their running back isn't going to uh, do well. This is 100% 49ers, and I I'm gonna make this my lock of the week. The next game is the Chiefs versus the Falcons. The Chiefs are favored by three. The over and under is 46 and a half. Um, I think. Uh, Rasheed Rice is going to look good in this game. Um, I don't know about Travis Kelsey. He just hasn't, he just hasn't been playing well or hasn't been showing up. I don't know which is which. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how Carson Steele runs. Um, I think he should do good. But I don't think, like, uh, so I think... If you're looking at receivers in this game, I would pick Rice and Kelsey, but I don't think Xavier Worthy is going to have much of a good game here. 
and I think Drake London might be shut down. So because of that, I'm going to take the Chiefs and give up the three. Our next game is the Jaguars versus the Bills. Bills are favored by five and a half. Uh, this is a Monday night game, I think. Uh, the over and under is 45 and a half. So Trevor Lawrence has not been looking good. Evan Ingram is out. And uh, the Bills are great against the run. So this is this is going to be really tough for the Jaguars. Um, I think this is the game Christian Kirk could do well uh, for some check downs. But I've thought that in the past, and uh, he hasn't done it. The uh, rookie ride receiver, what's his name, Brian Thomas Jr., um, he's a stud. Uh, but the Bills are good on the outside receivers. So that's going to be a toss-up. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Bills and give up the 5.5 points. The last game on the schedule is the Commanders, Redskins, versus the Bengals. Bengals are favored by 7.5, over and under is 46.5. T. Higgins is back. That is a big deal. Um... I think the Redskins, or the Redskins, the Commanders are going to be able to run on the Bengals, but the Commanders have no secondary to speak of. So Joe Burrow is going to go off. Uh, there's nothing much to say after this. Bengals give up the seven and a half points. They've got this game. So those are my picks for this week. Um, Again, don't don't follow what I say. You'll lose money, and this is all just for fun. But uh, I really appreciate every one of you uh, watching this. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think uh, I did or how bad I did. I know last week I did bad. Um, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm thinking I might start have putting this out on Saturdays, like towards the evening, so it's not so close to game times, because people are watching. So, um, yeah. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.